Hello and welcome everyone to the Commodity Report for the 22nd of April 2022 presented by myself Phil Carr at the Gold and Silver Club. So as we get towards the end of the week here, as we discuss with you on Tuesday's Commodity Report, expect the potential for outflows over this week, that we would get that slingshot move higher for commodities in the lead up to the Easter break. Take advantage of that, bank into strength, make sure that you're constantly locking in profits during this commodity super cycle. Gold prices at the beginning of the week, they broke out towards one month highs, just $2 shy of 2,000 US dollars per ounce. Natural gas prices, they broke out to all time highs. Energy prices, WTI crude oil, Brent, they broke out over 10% in the last week. So we took the opportunity to bank now this week over 2,000 points profit with our clients at the Gold and Silver Club. So for that calculation, for every one lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $20,000 of profit. For every 10 lot contract that you'd be trading, that's $200,000 of profit. And now what have we seen? The outflows. So what we've seen is over the last three sessions, we've got a 3% correction to the downside now on gold. On Thursday, silver prices, they dropped 2.5%. Platinum prices dropped 2.5%. Palladium prices dropped 2%. And we've seen energies flat over the last 24 hours after breaking out 3% to the upside. So what do these outflows mean for you? They present an opportunity to, again, sniper in at lower prices. Gold prices, they have now dropped from the highs of the week from 1,998 US dollars per ounce all the way down to 1,938 US dollars. And again, between now and the end of the month, so even going into next week, typically we do get more pressure to the downside for metals in particular. And then the following week after that, we have the FOMC statement, which will be a major catalyst on Wednesday, the 4th of May, for huge volatility in the market that you do not want to miss out on. That will set the stage for the trend as you go into the rest of May. Absolutely don't want to miss out on that. So right now, we've seen again that corrective price action to the downside that we discussed with you on Tuesday's report. In fact, here is that exact report where we talked to you through that and to expect these outflows. Typically going into this week and then into the last week of April as well, you can see outflows and opportunities to yet again sniper in at lower prices. We've already started to see that, in fact, after we booked a windfall amount of profits on Monday. So on Monday, we basically booked profits on gold at 1,993 US dollars per ounce. Commodities, they don't move up in a straight line. They will zigzag. And with that, that's where regularly you want to bank into strength. And then when you do see these corrective price actions to the downside, you're patient, you wait for key areas of liquidity to get retested, and then you come back in at much, much lower prices. And this is the trick. So as you can see, all of that has played out. You can now buy back into the metals at much lower prices. But again, going into the final week of April, end of month profit taking, end of month outflows, I would even look out for further opportunities to sniper in at lower prices. And I do hope that many of you also took the initiative at the beginning of the week to bank into strength and lock in profits when we were seeing breakouts on the metals and energies back towards their swing highs. Again, this comes down to utilizing a research-driven approach in the market. If you're not making money at the moment in the commodity super cycle, you absolutely should be. The main reason that you're likely not is either you're an inexperienced trader in these markets or you're using technical analysis, which as you know, does not work. You'll just end up getting chopped up all of the time if you use technical analysis, you'll have delayed confirmations, in the market ends up being death by a thousand cuts as you constantly will lose money in the market if all you're using is technical analysis because it gives you zero edge. Again, you have no edge at all if you're using technical analysis. This is where you need to switch it and be utilizing a statistical research driven approach to the market where you'll be learning and understanding the daily, the weekly, the monthly, the quarterly cycles for each commodity. Alongside that, the intermarket correlations in the market data, market intelligence, statistics, and of course, understand and learn where the key areas of liquidity reside in the market. Further compound that as well with the ratios in the market, the intermarket correlations. Alongside that, learn and understand the fundamentals, the macroeconomics, the geopolitics, the capital flows of the market, extremely important. And alongside that, 
learn and understand how the hedge funds, money managers, banks and institutions are positioned in real time, that will help you massively to get an edge. So with that, if you would like to join our community of successful traders, learn the research driven approach to the market and join our professional mentorship program, there is an opportunity for you to do so. Just make sure you click in the link below today's report in order to make an application to join our professional mentorship program.